The 2S25M Sprut SDM1 stands as a novel portable light tank. It represents an upgraded rendition of its predecessor, the 2S25 Sprut SD. Initially introduced in 2005, the original Sprut SD saw limited production to cater to the needs of Russian airborne units. The 2S25M Sprut SDM1, a more contemporary iteration, has emerged with enhancements. It adopts a fresh chassis akin to that of the new BMD 4M airborne combat vehicle, alongside a modernized engine, improved fire control system, and several other refinements. Unveiled in 2016, the Sprut SDM1 was revealed to involve an initial batch of six tanks scheduled for delivery to Russian airborne forces in 2017. This portable light tank underwent official military trials starting in 2020, intended to conclude between 2021 and 2022, with the potential for mass production commencing in 2022. In Russia, the Sprut SDM-1 is officially categorized as a self-propelled anti-tank gun or tank destroyer, though its functional role aligns more closely with that of a light tank. The design of this combat vehicle has been tailored specifically for Russian airborne forces, ensuring it can be transported by air and even airdropped. It additionally exhibits full amphibious capabilities. Its primary purpose is to bolster airborne landing operations by engaging enemy armored vehicles and supporting infantry. Despite its original intent for airborne units, the tank can also be utilized by naval infantry, although the Russian naval infantry currently lacks amphibious tanks following the retirement of their PT-70 success in 2015. Among other contemporary airborne tanks are the US Griffin II, which recently received production approval, and the Chinese ZTQ-15, an ongoing production that the Chinese military employs. The Sprut SDM-1 boasts a weight of merely 18 tons, placing paramount importance on mobility, rapid repositioning, and transportability. However, these strengths come at the expense of limited armor protection. The frontal arc can only withstand hits from 12.7mm rounds, while all-round protection extends to 7.62mm gunfire and artillery shell fragments. To enhance armor, add-on armor panels can be affixed, including armored skirts for heightened protection. The tank is equipped with NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection and an automatic fire extinguishing system. Despite its modest armor, the Sprut SDM-1 holds the firepower akin to modern main battle tanks. Claims suggest its firepower rivals that of Russian T-72 and T-90 series tanks. It wields a stabilized 2A75M 125mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing standard 125mm ammunition utilized by T-72 and T-90 tanks. In 2022, new programmable ammunition was introduced, extending the maximum firing range to 2 to 2.5 kilometers. An automatic ammunition loading system facilitates operation by a crew of just three, obviating the need for a dedicated loader. The Sprut SDM-1 incorporates the ability to launch anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as conventional projectiles, consistent with a feature prevalent in modern Russian tanks. The laser-guided anti-tank missiles are derived from the 9M119M1 Invarm missile and hold a range of up to 5 km, making them effective against low-flying helicopters as well. The tank carries a total of 40 rounds, inclusive of missiles. The autoloader accommodates 22 rounds, while the remaining 18 are stored within the hull. Typical ammunition loads feature 20 HEFRAG rounds, 14 APFSDS anti-tank rounds, and 6 anti-tank guided missiles. With a rate of fire reaching 7 rounds per minute, spent casings are automatically ejected behind the turret. A coaxial 7.62mm machine gun complements the main armament. Additionally, the Sprut SDM-1 integrates a remote-controlled weapon station featuring a 7.62mm machine gun. The Sprut SDM-1 integrates a new fire control system encompassing sights from the T-90MS main battle tank. Notably, an independent commander's sight with thermal vision has been included, accelerating target acquisition and engagement. 
Employing the hunter-killer engagement approach, commonly observed in modern main battle tanks, the tank commander designates targets while the gunner manages the aiming and firing process, allowing the commander to identify subsequent targets. Crewed by three personnel, including the commander, gunner, and driver, the Sprut SDM-1 places the commander and gunner within the two-man turret. A new engine drives the Sprut SDM-1, powered by the UTD-29 multi-fuel diesel engine generating 500 horsepower. This naturally aspirated engine aligns with the power plant found in the BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle and the recent BMD-4M airborne combat vehicle. It stands as a more contemporary alternative to the original 2V-06-2S engine featured in the preceding Sprut SD light tank. Suspension modifications have also been made, with shared components from the BMD-4M. The tank incorporates a hydropneumatic suspension featuring variable height control, enabling para-dropping on platforms and facilitating leaning in multiple directions. Designed for complete amphibious operation, the Sprut SDM-1 employs two water jets for propulsion on water surfaces. It achieves a maximum amphibious speed of 7 km per hour and maintains seaworthiness up to sea state 3. Even while afloat, the tank retains the capability to fire its main gun within a limited traverse range. The tank can autonomously embark and disembark from amphibious assault ships. Transportable by IL-76 cargo aircraft, two of these light tanks can be accommodated. Moreover, the Sprut SDM-1 is capable of airdrop with the crew on board.